About 20 high schoolers from across Bellingham are currently preparing for the trip, something they say will change their lives and hopefully save some as well. Okay, so in DC, they got together in a friend's living room to plan what will likely be the most important day of their young lives. Among them, 16 year old Maggie you know, Davis Bell. Like every person here like has is here because they have a story that makes them feel motivated to get involved with the issue. And that's but no one here has a story anything like Maggie's. She was at Burlington's Cascade Mall 18 months ago when a man armed with a rifle killed five people. Maggie was with her mom shopping for a homecoming dress. Instead, she hid behind a clothing rack and watched a woman get murdered. That's a very real memory that's going to stick with me for the rest of my life. Um, and there's not much you can do about that, but I think empowerment is, is really the only way to handle that kind of trauma. We need to step up and make the change. Seeing students from the Parkland massacre speak out, Maggie felt empowered to organize a massive rally in her hometown last month and traveled to D.C. next week to meet with lawmakers and bring about change, something adults have failed to do. It's sad that us as children have to take the roles um, of adults, but if we don't make a change, then no one will. That's, That's so cool. They're raising money for the trip, designing t-shirts, all in what they say is a fight for their lives. And these kids take great offense at the notion, pushed by some, that they're pawns in some left-wing anti-gun agenda orchestrated by adults. Like, there's no big left-wing, like, puppet person, puppet master, like, <laughs> controlling yeah. us. Like, this is coming from us. We just want to feel safe at school. And the students say once they return from D.C., their work isn't over. They plan to keep the pressure on lawmakers here and across the country until change finally comes. In Bellingham, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.